Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So I have some more swatches for you. Um, I was going to do these three right here, which are Proud Nude, Perfect Yellow, and Soulmate. And then I realized in my last video, looking for a purple, that I didn't have Girl Power swatch. So I'm going to swatch that one with these today. And like, how cool do these two look together? This purple and yellow, very pretty. So let's get swatching. Okay guys, so there's the swatches. I'm gonna just talk about them real quick and give you my thoughts and then we're gonna go over the comparisons. So we've got perfect yellow. Now yellows are very patchy. They're very hard to work with. I have several yellows that I just, I when clients ask for yellow, I kinda go, eh, maybe not. <laughs> just because they don't look so great as like a full color on the nail, all, you know, 10 nails yellow. Um, but this perfect yellow is perfect. It's not patchy or streaky. It's extremely opaque and it's a gorgeous yellow tone. It's not a mustardy tone, but it's close. Um, it's just, it's a perfect yellow. I love it. It's a very primary yellow and very opaque and not patchy. So that's great. Now this is Girl Power. I cannot believe I have not swatched this. I've used this a ton. This is probably the closest purple um, that you're going to find on their website that's like a neon purple and it's showing up pretty true to color on screen here it is stunning i love this is my absolute favorite purple for just a cream purple i love this one and then we've got proud nude very good um nude very opaque nice and smooth not really too much to say about that one and then we've got soulmate now I have another color, uh, She's All That, I think is almost identical to this. But this is like a charcoal -y. it's almost got a purple undertone to it, and it, but it's not quite black. But on the nails, it can read as like pretty black, but under certain lighting, it looks a little bit more purple toned. So let me, let's start with that one. I've got She's All That right here, and we're just going to compare those. Okay, so not 100% identical, but super close. Sorry about all the fingerprints, guys. Um, so She's All That, compared to Soulmate, is a bit darker. So it's going to read a little bit more black if you're going to do a full set. And then Soulmate has just a smidge of that purple undertone to it. But this is uh, the perfect black right next to it. So you can see how much darker the black is compared to these. And let's see if there's any more. And then I've got some grays here. We've got Upper East Side and then Sophisticated Gray. So they don't really compare to the gray. It's much, much darker than that. But it is a grayish purple kind of charcoal-y color. Okay, 
So there's that one. Let's do the yellow. Um, let's see. I have Pharaoh, which is like a more of a gold. This is discontinued, I believe. Such a pretty color. Ugh. All right. Here are my yellows. And then, okay, this one is Tangerine Dream. And I've swatched this in a past video if you guys want to go back and look at that. But it's like a sheer color. And that's what it looks like with white under it. So if you want to give it some underwear <laughs> to make it an opaque, it's like an orangey yellow. But it's also very sheer. And then I have Bon Bon Yellow, which I believe is a one-step gel. Um, Bright Honey and Mimosa. So here is perfect yellow. It's gonna go right in between here somewhere. So we've got perfect yellow right next to Bright Honey, which is probably the closest. Um, but with Bright Honey, I mean, it's a good color. It's a very pretty yellow. I did get a little bit of streaking on that. That one's a little bit hard to work with. Mimosa is definitely much darker. It's almost got a little bit of an orange tone to it. And then we've got Bon Bon, which again is, um, it takes a bit to build this one up. It's a one-step gel. I would just steer away from that one, honestly. Um, but Perfect Yellow is really, really nice. It's, it's not identical to Bright Honey, but it is very close in shades. So if you already have Bright Honey, I don't think you would have to have this one. But if you're having some issues with this being a little bit patchy, I would get perfect yellow because it's very, very perfect. I love it. All right, and let's compare Girl Power to my purples. Let's see. I've got Are You Indigo, which is more of an indigo purple. It's got more of a blue tone to it. This is Perplexed, which is a gorgeous shade. It's got that, like, almost metal look to it. Um, kind of close to this one but not a hundred percent and then this one is marvelous I believe is discontinued um, popsicle which is a very pinky purpley kind of color and then we start getting more into the pinks and the raspberries um, this is light lilac if you want to compare it to that so it's this is definitely a very vivid bright purple and like I said it's the closest thing to a neon purple you're gonna find I think on Madame Glam site okay and last but not least we have proud nude um, where are okay I've kind of got my nudes and my peaches in different spots um, I need to reorganize these they're not quite working out for me but on my nude swatch wheel, I have more of the pinky kind of nudes, more of the like neutral nudes, if that makes sense. And then on my pink, orange, yellow swatch stick, I have more of the, the peaches. So like Serena, Krispy Kreme, Creamy Caramel, those ones are kind of like a peachy nude. So I kind of threw those over there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one yet. <laughs> okay, so we have Haystack. No... Uh, nope. Workaholic, nope. Uh, ballerina, I love ballerina. Mm. Nope, ballerina is closer to an ivory. I don't, I think it's going to be closer to these ones here. Yeah. Okay, so Serena. That's pretty close. Um,. That's Krispy Kreme, and then this one is Creamy Caramel on the end. So if you have Serena, it's going to be closest to that, uh, but it's a little bit darker. Wow, but wow, those are really close, guys. It's just a little bit darker, maybe just a pinch pinker. Uh, but yeah, it definitely leans more towards a peachy nude. Um, here is Cheek to Cheek and Peachy. These are like super peach peach ones. Uh, but these are more like a peachy nude. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, where is, I want to see real quick, um, rosy nude. Yes, here we go. This is my favorite nude. It looks so good on so many skin tones. So just so you can see the comparison between rosy nude and proud nude. Very different. Definitely more of a pink nude, definitely more of a peach nude. Um, but again, it looks almost identical to 
uh, Serena. And I believe that was from the, oh, what collection was that from? I know it's the Gossip Girl, but it wasn't called Gossip Girl Collection, but it's all the Gossip Girl names and stuff, so. But yeah, there. All right, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got some more swatches coming up for you. If you guys um, want to check out Madam Glam and save a little bit of money, I do have a 30% off discount code. I will pop up on the screen now, and you can use that, but you have to click the link below, and then you can use the coupon code. I've had some people say my coupon code doesn't work. It does work, but you have to use the link that goes with it for it to work. So click the link in the description box. It'll take you to the Madam Glam website and then you can use my discount code if you wanted to try some of these out. So I do have a bunch of um, store credits from my VIP uh, saved up and I'm gonna place a bulk order of like just a bunch of gels. I have like three or four months saved up. So if there's a color that you wanna see, let me know, comment below and let me know if you wanna see me swatch a color. If I don't have it, I'll order it and I'll swatch it for you in an upcoming video. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.